second point, the uh, second point is uh, about the certainly in my books, in every one of my books, I have I have stated clearly the choice that will be given the enemy, and the choice is clear. I spoke to you about what I'm convinced will be. The Arabs will not accept, will not accept that. The Arab has self-respect. He doesn't want to live as a, as a non-citizen. He doesn't want that. And if he's convinced that time is on his side, which he is, and if, he, and if he's convinced that the liberal Jew is on his side, and he is, he certainly won't accept this. Nevertheless, it, he will be offered. No question about it. Not because I have any hopes of it, but because that is halakha, and I have to give him a choice of halakha. I have to give it to him. He, he want to stay here quietly, sit still, shop. But if not leave, he will not accept this choice of sitting quietly. I don't say all. Certainly the older ones will. The older ones will. The older ones will. But among the young ones, a mere handful, the overwhelming majority will not so I'm talking about, I don't want to give you the illusion. We'll give them a choice so that you might think, well, you know, maybe half of them will choose it. They won't. I want to be open with you and tell you the honest truth, what to expect. They will not willingly leave unless they're forced. And then they'll leave. But only if they're convinced that Kahana eats little babies for breakfast. If I ever had a good image, it's finished, finished. I want them to be afraid of it, be terrified. Now, why? Because in that way, less Arabs and less Jews will be killed. Yeah.